Okay, so let's say we made uh, something, a refrigerator here. I don't know if it's a refrigerator. It looks like it's a little deep, but we could uh, make it narrower, you know, just by taking our different measurements here. But the bottom line is I got a refrigerator, and I've got my panels here that probably need to be moved a little bit. Uh, and I can nudge them over with the arrow keys. If I feel like they're not moving enough or they're moving too far, then I can come down here and I can change my grid, snap grid on how far they're moving. So I've got it at a small increment right now. So when I do move items uh, using my arrows, I can move them very slightly. So you can see how straight on this is moving as I'm tapping. It's moving just barely crawling over there. If I change this to a larger, larger snap grid too, now when I move it, it moves at larger increments. Sometimes that's too much. So that's why I like to change that to a smaller increment. I can use it to move small. The other thing, so I've got my refrigerator here, a couple panels on it. And um, as we saw, as I click on something and move it, you know, it moves just that item. And if I want everything to be selected together, you know, as one unit, I select everything and I can group them. Problem is when I group them, then it combines it to one item and they're all the same color. I like to have my different colors. Uh, now when I move this, the whole thing moves, which is nice, but I still want my different colors. So once I've grouped them, I can go up here to my color and I can select solid and then change that back to multicolor. So then it will keep all the original colors in my group. So now I've got an item that is still grouped and I can move it around, but it's uh, multiple colors. So good way to do that move things around and keep them different colors. All right, see you on the flip side.